Have you ever wondered about prisons and how they work to keep people in line? Well, some prisons go beyond just confining and rehabilitating offenders. They stand out for being the most dangerous and inhospitable institutions globally. Known for their brutal conditions, these prisons offer a grim glimpse into life behind bars. In this video, we'll delve into these prisons, exploring the harsh realities faced by inmates and the challenges authorities encounter in managing them. Before that, make sure to watch the video till the end and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Bang Kwong Prison Bang Kwong Prison, known as the Bangkok Hilton, might suggest a pleasant place, but the truth is entirely different. Instead of fair treatment, inmates are tortured every day in cramped cells. It houses around 6,000 inmates, including those on death row. Death row prisoners often receive short notice before execution. Initially, prisoners will have to wear heavy leg irons for three months. In the past, people on death row had them permanently welded, but that stopped in 2013. The strict daily schedule leaves prisoners locked in their cells for around 15 hours a day, and those who get sick during this time receive no help until the next morning. Unlike most prisons, Bang Kwong stands out for its harshness, earning the title of a living nightmare. Number 9. AVX Florence The AVX Florence prison in Colorado is known for housing some of the world's most dangerous criminals. It enforces a strict daily routine, with inmates initially confined to their cells for 23 hours a day. Meals are hand-delivered to each inmate by correctional officers. However, it has drawn criticism for its extensive use of solitary confinement, typically reserved for rule breakers or vulnerable prisoners seeking protection. Lawsuits filed by inmates in 2012 allege that the prison's conditions facilitated abuse and torture, neglecting mental health care, and leading to tragic suicides. Despite the severity of the inmates' crimes, the lack of empathy and harsh treatment raises concerns about human rights violations in this high-security prison. Unfortunately, this is a common occurrence in the grim world of prisons. Number 8. La Sainte Prison La Sainte Prison in France is notorious for its treatment of inmates housing some of France's most infamous criminals, including pseudo-celebrities in a special section. The prison's extreme danger and violence lead prisoners to choose death over serving their sentences, and they are only allowed four hours outside their cells each day. The prison is overcrowded, and the living conditions are poor, with skin diseases rampant due to the lack of showers. A harsh hierarchy exists within, where powerful inmates dominate the weaker ones. Escape attempts have been numerous, but only three succeeded. The prison has a history of horrifying conditions, including infestations of rats and cockroaches, and suicidal prisoners left in chains. This contributes to the prison's reputation for being a dangerous environment for inmates. Number 7. Black Dolphin The Black Dolphin in Russia is notorious for housing the country's most dangerous offenders, including terrorists, rapists, and pedophiles. Within its confines, prisoners endure almost constant solitary confinement, granted only 90 minutes a day for exercise in a cage. Their meal consists solely of four portions of soup daily. Access to books, newspapers, and a radio is limited, highlighting the harsh conditions. Upon arrival, inmates are blindfolded to prevent them from familiarizing themselves with the prison layout and plotting escapes. This practice is maintained during any interbuilding transportation, adding an extra layer of security to this strict correctional facility. Number 6. San Quentin Prison San Quentin Prison, founded in 1852, stands as California's oldest prison. Over its long history, it gained notoriety for its past executions, utilizing methods like its own gas chamber. Although such practices ceased in 2006, today, the prison's danger lies in its aged infrastructure including unsafe conditions and frequent violence. In 2006, a racial clash led to over 100 injuries and two deaths. Reports from 2005 highlighted the dangerous environment for housing inmates. Inmates have made weapons over the years, like makeshift spears and guns out of plumbing parts. These are displayed in the museum inside the jail. Despite no longer executing prisoners, San Quentin's legacy of danger persists due to its challenging conditions and a history marked by conflicts and improvised weaponry. Number 5. Diyarbakir Prison Diyarbakir Prison in Turkey has gained notoriety for its inhumane conditions and treatment of inmates, earning criticism from experts. The prison's grim history includes the harsh treatment of prisoners, with reports of broken spirits, widespread violence, 
and the distressing practice of imprisoning children for life over minor offenses. The horrible conditions within have led to numerous deaths through torture, suicide, and hunger strikes. It initially established as an E-type prison, has a capacity of 744, but is often overcrowded. The prison's daily routine lacks structure, with proper rooming unavailable. The facility's history is marked by brutality, torture, and recurring death, making it one of the most violent and dangerous prisons in the world. Number 4. La Sabanena Prison La Sabanena Prison in Venezuela is known for its poor living conditions. The prison is overcrowded, meant to accommodate 15,000 inmates, but holding 25,000, leading to an ineffective management system. This fostered an environment of violence due to the insufficient guard-to-prisoner ratio of 1 to 150. Prisoners are allowed just two visitors a year and spend their days locked down in two-man rooms, allowed only an hour and a half of exercise in outdoor cages just big enough to pace back and forth. The food provided is often inadequate, and many prisoners suffer from malnutrition and lack of proper medical care. The high levels of violence and the lack of security makes it horrifying even for inmates. Number 3. Tadmor Prison Tadmor Prison, located in Syria, is known for its high levels of violence and cruelty. The daily routine of prisoners is marked by fear and humiliation, as they are subjected to arbitrary death, whippings, lashes, and beatings. The prison is overcrowded, with cells designed to accommodate 10 people holding up to 75. The food provided is often inadequate, and many prisoners suffer from malnutrition. What makes Tadmer Prison dangerous is the systematic use of torture as a means of control and punishment. Torture is a daily ritual, with prisoners experiencing a lengthy journey of pain and slow death. The prison is designed to inflict the maximum suffering, and the overall environment is intended to break the will of the prisoners. The lack of basic rights and the constant fear of torture make Tadmer Prison a particularly dangerous place for inmates. Number 2. Guantanamo Bay after the September 11 attacks, President Bush initiated Guantanamo Bay on the coast of Cuba in 2002 as a military jail in a war on terror. The prison was criticized for indefinite detention, without trial, waterboarding, and sexual assault, raising concerns about detainee treatment. Inmates are held in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day, and the prison is designed to be escape-proof. Due to major human rights violations, Amnesty International has called it the gulag of our times. The lack of basic rights and the constant fear of violence and torture make Guantanamo Bay Prison a particularly dangerous place for inmates. Number 1. Caranduru Penitentiary Caranduru Penitentiary, located in Brazil, is known for its high levels of violence and poor living conditions. Tragic incident occurred in 1992 when a dreadful massacre resulted in the deaths of 102 inmates leading to the sentencing of several military police for their involvement. The prison held 8,000 prisoners in a place designed for 3,000, and the living conditions were harsh. In cells where 17 prisoners dwell, using the toilet between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. is forbidden due to the discomfort brought by the smell to those who sleep around it. Despite its demolition in 2002, a small part of the prison stands as a museum today offering a glimpse into its haunting past for visitors to comprehend its history. That's all for today's video. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching.